All right, gang. Uh, the um, uh, purpose of this video is to uh, demonstrate how we write up the results uh, if we have a categorical predictor. A lot of this is just redundant, uh, and a lot of it goes without saying. But uh, as a professor now for 30 plus years, I know that nothing goes uh, without saying. So let's just dive in and, 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 and see what's going on here. Uh, first of all, uh, the research question is I'm going to demonstrate predicting SSQ from age and hospital. And so uh, I report the uh, descriptives for our dependent variable. Uh, I report the descriptives for the um, uh, quantitative predictor. And then I report the um, uh, descriptives for hospital. Okay. And, uh, you know, all that is done over here. I did some prop table stuff and you know, it means and we've, we've done all that before. Uh, there were no kiss, cases that have missing data, but uh, because hospital is a categorical predictor with three levels, I have to add two variables, dummy one and dummy two. So by that, uh, uh, you know, that gives me three predictors. So the number of cases does exceed. Uh, well, that should not be does not, <laughs> it does exceed uh, 15. Uh, there was a concern with adequate sample size. It really, I shouldn't even be running this model, uh, but it's just uh, academic exercise and demonstrating uh, how to write up the results. Uh, you know, everything else is the same. I went ahead and uh, ran a normality test, copy and pasted these two plots as I've done ad nauseum before, tested for... Uh, autocorrelation using Durbin Watson, uh, ran the VIF somewhere, I don't know where they are, yeah, right here, uh, you know, no concerns there. So I went ahead and uh, jumped into the uh, the model. Uh, the only thing I did different there is I tell the reader what is the reference group for hospital, and I just went with the default from R, which is East, I can change that, uh, see previous video, all right, um, turns out that the full model, uh, let me find our output here, uh, that our model was not significant. So I report that, and that tells us that uh, uh, as a set, age and hospital do not reliably uh, predict SSQ. Uh, we had a very unimpressive uh, adjusted R square. Only 5% of the variance in SSQ is uh, explained by the um, uh, uh, regression on these set of predictors. So that's really, really low. Uh, next thing I dive into the table, just a couple of uh, modifications here. First thing I look at are the uh, correlation. Hospital is um, categorical, so correlation doesn't apply. So I just leave that. Uh, in fact, you know what? I don't even really see why uh, I included that there. So let's just uh, delete that. Uh, interpret or uh, uh, reported the uh, <laughs> very very poor adjusted R squared and the model diagnostic. Uh, next thing I do is I get into the individual coefficients. Uh, uh, that information comes directly from this box. Now I told you earlier that there are some things that sh uh, demonstrated to me that this was a very poor model. And that would be the standard errors. If you have a sta stable model, these standard errors for the predictors should be pretty close. Uh, and we can see that we have a, uh, really high uh, standard errors for the hospital north to east comparison, the hospital south to east comparison. Uh, next thing I do is I come in and uh, report the means and standard deviations for the quantitative variables. And then I come in and report the frequencies and percentages for the hospital. And using the same uh, 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 method of reporting level of significance. So, again, all this stuff is kind of, at this point, I would think kind of commonsensical of things that we need to report for categorical variables. We report uh, descriptive statistics with sample size and frequency. Uh, and, of course, the modification that we'd have to make to the table. All right, gang, and all that stuff is worked over here. Uh, if you want to pause and 
take a look at the way that was calculated. All right, gang, talk out. We're going to move into logistic regression um, uh, next video. I have to tell you, it's one of my favorite things to teach. So I get a little giddy when I get to teach logistic regression. Uh, it's what I used in my uh, dissertation. Uh, you know, I kind of kind of just like it. So anyway, more on that later.